This instructional video is designed to introduce you to the Maxwell CSC DNA FFPE kit. This kit is designed to purify DNA from formal and fixed paraffin embedded tissues from breast, lung, and colon using the Maxwell CSC instrument. This kit is for in vitro diagnostic use only. If users deviate from the protocol, results cannot be guaranteed. If the sample is on a slide, use a clean razor blade to carefully scrape the sample into a 1.5 mil tube. If samples are small, several slides can be processed in the same tube. Curls are already in the tube. Add 300 microliters of mineral oil and vortex for 10 seconds to dissolve the paraffin. Other protocols might use xylene or citrosol to dissolve it. We use mineral oil as it is just as effective and less toxic. Heat the sample for two minutes at 80 degrees Celsius to help dissolve the paraffin. Prepare a master mix consisting of buffer, proteinase K, and an inert blue dye. The formulation is in the technical manual. This master mix must be made fresh for every procedure. Add 250 microliters of master mix to each sample tube and vortex for five seconds. Centrifuge the samples at 10,000 G for 20 seconds to separate the layers. The blue dye allows easy visualization of the lower aqueous layer. Transfer the sample tubes to a 56 degree heat block and incubate for 30 minutes to allow proteinase K to digest the protein. Transfer the sample tubes to an 80 degree heat block and incubate for 4 hours. This allows the DNA to decrosslink. A four-hour incubation will give maximum yield of DNA. Allow the sample to cool to room temperature for five minutes. Add 10 microliters of RNASA to each sample tube. Mix by pipetting. This will ensure that only DNA is purified. Incubate for five minutes at room temperature to let the RNase do its job. Centrifuge at full speed in a microcentrifuge for five minutes. Immediately transfer the blue aqueous phase containing the DNA to well number one of the Maxwell FFPE cartridge.